starting my day early again. Did a couple of things differently. I did a collagen coffee drink that I'm carrying for breakfast. And I also did a cold soak on my oats that I'll have maybe midway through the morning. Mostly I'm just trying to use up food because I'm coming into a resupply and so I don't want to have extras. Appalachian Trail Road. Look at this. Trail magic. Baby apples. I love it. I guess I'll have to eat the one I'm carrying so I can grab another. It's a bit wobbly here on these roots. Reminds me of what I was thinking yesterday. In training for the Appalachian Trail, I think we need to invent a treadmill. And it's a treadmill that you can make it a steep incline and decline because those are great practices for Georgia and North Carolina and Tennessee because stair-stepping doesn't really happen there all that much. And I heard people talk about that a lot on trail that they did the Stairmaster, but it didn't prepare them for those Southern states. And then of course you need the Stairmaster. So maybe this treadmill kind of, I don't know, transformer like turns into a Stairmaster so that you can practice ups and downs for New Hampshire and even some of the rock hopping requires big steps. And lastly, I think it should transform once again to one of those, you know, when you go through a fun house and there's that floor that kind of drops out and moves all around beneath you. I think that would be excellent training for the Appalachian Trail, specifically on rocks and roots, because that's kind of what it feels like. Like you, you're kind of going up and down and all around and your center of gravity changes. And uh, so yeah, wouldn't that be cool? Well, I guess I'm gonna be doing some rock climbing trail goes up in there and then in through here and down there side squeeze in through there <laughs> I really do love Pennsylvania I love rock climbing I just think it's beautiful of course I've said that with every state but I really mean it this time I love Pennsylvania. Now this is funny. Of course they want you to go in through here. Even though it's obvious, you can go around there because there's a blaze. But if you go in through here, you get messages like that way to Georgia. And, oh, I guess there's no that way to Maine. Oh well. It's still a beautiful day. There's a breeze which feels fabulous. And uh, it's gonna hike itself up to 90 degrees or so. Yikes.
but it's gonna get warmer tomorrow and the day after that. And then it's going to be in the mid 90s, I think by the weekend. I'm trying to decide what to do and how to plan for that. <sighs> Taking a quick break on some rocks to have second breakfast. I've been on trail for about three hours. It's still cool. And I am eating my cold soaked oats. I haven't done that before. And it's fine, uh, three hours soaking. Um, these are not like instant quick oats. They're just the regular rolled oats and perfect. A little sketchy water crossing. I'm going to get a little water here and then four miles ahead I have another water source. So I won't uh, do full capacity here. Um, may not even need water. I'm going to check now. There are some really pretty, um, I don't know what you call them, things here like this walkway that was created. I haven't always videoed the boardwalks and and stuff like that, but there's a lot of evidence that people take care of the trails. Okay, this is where I come out to some fields. This will give me a good idea of what this afternoon will be like. <sighs> At least there's wind. The wind feels really good, but it's directly under the sun. And I set my sun home hat sun home hat no sun hat home um, I get it back today which is good but not quite in time and because of that and because of the 90 degree heat and the fields today I mean I think I have 12 miles of fields um, I'm thinking of jumping off trail today to grab my sun hat cutting it a little short. My feet are still sore from the 26 miles yesterday. And if I cut it short, that puts me at 17 tomorrow, but I'll have a sun hat and my new sun shirt. So I am I'm leaning in that direction. A lot of cornfields. A lot of sun and my feet hurt. When it's flat, my feet hurt. Coming into Boiling Springs. The trail walks right through the town, I think. At least that's what the guide said. I wonder what that building is. This is a really cute little place. Lots of ducks and geese. been a great place. There was a, a guy here, I don't know if he was the mayor of the town or whatever, but he introduced himself and then I forgot and gave a couple of us the rundown on the next few, next couple hundred miles. There's this adorable cafe, um, there's an outfitter, and my ride should be here soon. Stopped by Cafe 101 while I wait for my ride and I'm gonna have this delicious concoction, whatever it is. <laughs> 